Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, a new piece of software that I like in my Linux situation. Uh, but I'm coming back today because I haven't recorded a video for about a month. I've been extremely busy doing a whole lot of other things that have nothing to do with this. This is purely a hobby and purely just for fun. But uh, I haven't been back in quite a while because there's just too much going on. And um, I won't get into all the personal stuff, but suffice it to say, it has been busy and in no time for this kind of thing. So uh, I was going to talk a little bit today about Upnote. Uh, I discovered this recently on my Android device, uh, my Android phone, and I really like it. Uh, what I found is that there's kind of a, kind of a, an in-between that you have to get to. And, you know, there's things like uh, Evernote, uh, which kind of gives you all the bells and whistles. And I didn't like it because I've used it in the past and it's just too much. There's really too much that it can do. And then I also was using Simple Note here for a long time, and I like Simple Note. Uh, love it. It's, it's really great. If you're just doing some basic note taking on your computer or on your Android phone, Simple Note is a great way to go. Just real simple stuff, no attachments, no anything. You're just writing down notes, keeping track of things. It's a good way to go. But I started to see that I was going to need something a little bit beyond this. I was going to need uh, something that gave me uh, the ability to uh, attach files and things like that. And I just wasn't getting that. So Evernote wasn't the answer. There's too much, I think, complexity. It almost takes away the idea of why you get note-taking software to begin with. Uh, to simplify your life, to make everything a little bit better. So I glommed on to Upnote. Upnote's nice. It's kind of a, uh, uh, an in-between between using Simple Note, which is extremely simple and free, but too simple, and too complex, which would be something like Evernote or something like OneNote uh, from Microsoft. I believe that's what it's called. I haven't used it in years and years and years. But anyway, Upnote's kind of nice because you can attach files. Uh, you can put tables in there. Um, you can do checkoffs, uh, you know, to-do lists, that type of thing. And you can just take general notes. And um, you can see here where it says notebooks. You can have all sorts of different notebooks, not just one level, but multi-level. So you could have something, say, like this instance, Projects, schools, work, that's what I wanted. Something that was going to be able to nest uh, notebooks. And that's something Simple Note didn't seem to have. So kind of a negative. The only thing about uh, Upnote that for those of you who like absolutely free software, uh, you do have to pay for it. 99 cents a month. <laughs> and I'm not going to buy it a year at a time. I'm going to do 99 cents a month and see if it does everything that I need it to do. And it does work on my Android phone and syncs up with it, no problem. And then I also have the Linux version uh, for my desktop and also for my laptop. So it works perfect with my workflow and what I'm doing. But it's really nice, makes a lot of sense. It's so much like Simple Note, but it's got a little bit more and it's got this ability to attach files uh, it, it says insert files, uh, but you can put pictures in and things like that. Things I couldn't do with Simple Note. Um, and I don't know if they're going to come out with something a little more sophisticated or not, but I, I love Simple Note uh, just for the real simple to do's and things like that. But uh, Upnote seems to be better. Uh, it says it offers flexible ways to organize your notes. Hashtags, nested notebooks, that's a big plus for me, and pinning notes to the top of the note list, adding notes to quick access, and filtering notes using match keywords. So it does have that capability to search and uh, find what you want. It's been really nice. So this is that in-between, not very expensive. Uh, Evernote's pretty expensive. And... Uh, you know, at 99 cents a month, I think I can, what can I give up? Hmm. 
Oh, I'll give up a pop a month. How's that? <laughs> I don't have to give up anything. It's a whole dollar, right? But it's great. And so it's got uh, really everything you need and really easy to, uh, to use. It also has uh, rich formatting, it says. You can add a link. I mean, these were some things that there was kind of not that capability in Simple Note. Um, always keeps syncing up, and it's been great. Uh, no problem. Dark and light themes. A web clipper extension uh, available for Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. So even if you're using Linux and you have a version of Chrome, you probably can go to the Chrome store and get that web clipper extension and just do a web clip, that type of thing. So, and uh, it also has a focus mode where everything's hidden so you can just have a distraction-free environment, it says. Evidently, that's a problem. Well, I guess it is a problem. It's been a problem for me sometimes when I'm working on something and you're trying to really uh, write something and uh, do something with particular uh, absolute focus. Uh, yeah, I could see that could be distracting because I've got different things like work and then also some personal stuff. I think uh, that's a plus as well. Uh, what are the advanced features? Backup and version history. Uh, UpNote supports automatic notes backup, so you can be sure that your notes will always be safe no matter what. Protect your notes with a lock, uh, password lock, uh, passcode. And, uh, you know, just some, some other things. Um, you can also export your notes to a text PDF or Markdown, and Markdown is just like the kind of standard thing so you could import it anywhere else uh, so you could export it into almost whatever you wanted or to keep a record say like if i was doing uh, some kind of note taking and i was having this for the year 2023 all my different notes i could export those to text or pdf and uh, save those but uh, you know for me not so much but i'll probably export once a year um, and uh, you can share a note uh, via web link. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, so once again, uh, just a little more robust than Simple Note. Simple Note gets the job done for free, basic, basic, basic. Uh, but this is one step above that. And for nine, 99 cents a month, it really makes a lot of sense. So you can write unlimited notes, add attachments, tables, codes, uh, you can protect your notes, uh, themes, and exports. So that's what it's saying. Uh, and I can't show you the software directly. I mean, this if you go to getupnote.com, you'll find it. Uh, I can't show you mine because it's got proprietary information. And a lot of the stuff that I do has propri proprietary information. And if I talk about software, well... <sighs> I just can't show it to you. I should show it to you before I actually add anything. Uh, so sorry about that. But try it out for yourself. You can try it out and, uh, uh, you know, you'll have some limited capabilities. But to get unlimited, that 99 cents a month is the thing. But uh, you can definitely try it out, getupnote.com. And I think it's really in my mind, almost the perfect note-taking application. Not too expensive, not too sophisticated to a point that it becomes kludgy. And what's the point of a note? The point is to get it remembered and to keep going uh, and be able to pull up stuff. It, it's not to have your whole life arranged and all sorts of uh, documents and everything. I don't believe in that. I mean, there's a lot of documents that you save that aren't any good for anything anymore. They do get outdated, and outdated stuff needs to be gotten rid of, given the heave-ho. So anyway, I like UpNote. That's my little uh, review, just talking about it, just a little overview. And I promise to be a little more uh, prudent with uh, getting back to you from time to time. Um, you know, the other funny thing, I was so busy with life stuff really the past month. I can't tell you all of what it was, but a lot of stuff. And I can tell you that 
I didn't have any time for any of this to talk to you or anything. Um, but I promise to, uh, to change that. I'm not going to be an everyday poster or anything like that. But I do want to get back and stay in touch. Uh, and so this last month or so that I haven't been doing anything uh, video-wise, it's been uh, really nice. I've been using Linux Mint Victoria, and it's been fantastic. And I'm back to Linux Mint. Uh, no more distro hopping. It, it really works the best, and I'm really happy with it. And I got to a point this month where I was doing so many different things I really forgot about Linux altogether. I forgot about what I was doing. I know it's Linux. I know I'm using it. Yes, I know if I have to do a command or something that it's Linux. But it's been amazing that I haven't had to mess with it at all and just leave it on, and it's just doing great. Uh, so I, I really forgot about my software OS this last month, and it's been a really wonderful thing to forget that. And... You know, I'm not any worse off. If you're coming from Windows going to Linux, you can do everything. You don't need Windows. And if you don't need Windows, why have it? I mean, it's, it costs you more money. And uh, this has been great to have a whole month of... I'm not even really paying attention to software. It's just working. And I'm getting things done. Anyway, that's my deal for today. I hope you have a, a great Labor Day weekend. And we'll talk to you again soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.